Yeah, head lice, unfortunately, we tend to see an upswing in uh, cases of head lice at the pharmacy around this time. And of course, because children are in really close contact, and, and particularly when you get close head-to-head -head contact, you know, lice can go from one person to another um, very quickly. Um, the important thing is, I think there's been some uh, recent reports about maybe we're having some resistance with some of the products that we sell to treat this. Um, quite often, that may be true in certain pocket areas. There's certain resistance, but basically what we try to tell people is the most important thing is to use it correctly. If it says to repeat it in seven to ten days, make sure you repeat it in seven to days. Make sure you try to remove all the nits um, and, and the live lice and people will, it's called a wet combing, where you basically you get your hair wet and then you go through with a very fine comb and try to remove any ones that might not have been killed by the uh, whatever product you used. And even in fact, they're so hard to find, you know, they've even come up with devices that actually will help you see them so you can get rid of them. Um, and I, I have one here, which is uh, basically, this is uh, a device that has a fine comb, but also has a ultraviolet light that when you look at these little things with this ultraviolet light, they kind of glow. So it's actually very interesting. So if you're wanting somebody and you're really concerned, you can use this and really see them and pick them out and get a little bit more peace of mind that you've done the, you know, everything you can. But unfortunately, important thing for parents to remember is head lice is a common thing. Um, and it's not, it's not a sign of dirtiness. It's, it's, they like clean hair. Um, you know, it's just in fact that this thing's been around forever and we just have to do the best we can to get rid of it when it happens and prevent future occurrences from happening.